Today we are going to take a look at one of my favorite guitarists, Glenn Campbell. The song is called My Window Faces the South. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Very young Glenn Campbell playing the guitar, already an absolute master at his craft. <laughs> you, the good thing is, you can hear it's him. He has this certain kind of a style, especially those fast licks. And that last one is a real, real challenge. Ah, that's real nasty. Now, let's start with the beginning. The song is very much influenced by an old American traditional song called Ida Red. Find the fire, find the great clock on the mantel, says it's getting late. The curtains on the window, snow is white, the parlor is pleasant on Sunday night. Ida Red, Ida Red, I'm plum fool about Ida Red. Now that's real old-fashioned country music, right? But in actual fact, it's actually very closely tied to rock and roll music as well. One of the first rock and roll records ever was a song called Maybelline by Chuck Berry. And when you listen to that. Maybelline, can't you be true? That's country. Country, rock and roll. It's all connected. Now back to the song, My Window Faces the South. Let's first again have a listen to that intro that Glenn Campbell is playing. Absolutely amazing guitar playing. Now, let's just first look at the chords. Huh? Chords starts with the D. That's fairly straightforward, but of course the tricky part is to play the melody on the guitar. Nice little country bend here. And a very country-like beginning. There's only in country music you get that kind of sort of intro. Then on to... Almost a sort of comic melody. But this is not so fun. Oh my god! Slow. It's just, it's actually very much doable, at least, <laughs> at least the first part. It's just a hammer on and pull off. That's doable. Descending. Ending on the pinky finger. And also a short staccato note. And the same thing here. Together. And if you think that was fun, then wait till you get to this part. That's, that's real difficult. Lots of pull-offs, slowly. You just gotta play it fast in one go. Ah, that's gonna take a bit of time. This is real nasty. It's definitely gonna put blisters on your fingers. Let's play the intro in a medium tempo. I 
Well, you can clearly tell that Glenn is having a great time there in the background playing the guitar. It's good to see someone having fun playing the guitar, right? Now, as, as for the verse, basic, uh, same, simple chords. My window is facing the sound, almost like heaven. It's a good thing about country music, the chords are relatively easy. <laughs> Basically the same structure as in the intro. And then it's just a matter of doing that sort of Chet Atkins boom chick bass country picking. Basically, this is all you do. But of course it sounds better when you mute the strings, bottom strings with the palm of your hand. And that's it. Fast. And so on. Notice also that when there's a gap in the vocals, a slight gap, a bit of silence, that's where Glenn plays an extra melody on top of that. My window is facing the south. Those, those very intricate little things, beautifully done. But of course, the verse is one thing. It's all about that great guitar solo that he's playing. Let's have just one more listen at that. That's one amazing guitar solo, isn't it? Let's break it down. The first interesting thing we notice is the way he starts. Reminds you of someone, this? That's Chuck Berry, right? Like I said, country music, rock and roll, Chuck Berry. It's all connected. Very slowly, he's playing basically two things, this, and he plays, which is slightly different. And then he alternates between the two. Now that's a lick you wouldn't expect from someone like Glenn Campbell, right? Pretty cool lick, isn't it, slow? The trick is using the ring finger on the D and the G string, connecting those two notes. Haha! <laughs> on tempo? Damn, Glenn! And that interesting, he does like a bend, which is fairly common on the G string. And instead of just playing it like that, he does this weird thing with his right hand. Which sort of looks cool. But it also, it sounds a bit different because he plucks the string with his middle finger. You can hear the difference. Just normal picking. Or a bit more nasty. And then here, we have a very, very country type of lick. Slow. much like the intro where we have that very it's even more difficult this time around he does a double stop which is very difficult to play in that fast tempo that he's uh, using and the last one is more or less the same as in the intro <laughs> okay, let's play that guitar solo in a, well, not as fast tempo as the original. You can find the taps, as always, on my Patreon side. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 